What's up guys? Boy Mike Chris, you already know, back on my channel. Just want to thank all of you guys who watched last night's video and supported, you know, the the big guys that I commended. A lot of you brought up other big guys. And yeah, tama naman kayo, di ba? And I'm not saying naman na porket sila lang yung mention ko, sila lang yung magagaling na big guys. So, I just appreciate you guys for engaging with me and watching that video. For those who haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. For those who have, uh, you already know. I appreciate you guys and please continue to support the channel because, man, a lot of debates and a lot of basketball talk coming your way. Dami pa. Dami pa. Alright, um, unang una, the reason why I don't use highlights or I don't put highlights on my videos is because it's disrespectful to use other people's content without their permission. So, yung content ng ABS-CBN sa kanila yon. Yung content ng One Sports sa kanila yon. I don't want to use other people's content. I want to use mine. Okay, so that's the one reason why I don't use highlights. Um, I have, I, I'm not knocking on anyone's trip. Yung ibang channels or pages na gumagamit ng highlights na One Sports or whatever. I don't know kung may, kung may usapan sila ng One Sports or what or ng ABS-CBN, but, you know, I'm just not. That's just not my thing. I don't want to make money off of someone else's content you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying thank you very much all right so to those who don't follow me on instagram please do because a lot of the engagements and a lot of the interactions with with my subscribers happen there uh follow me it's mikey.reyes on instagram this one follow that one um uh, and today i saw a highlight of Kiefer ravenna with a between the legs crossover spin move and then fade against uh, Adrian Wong I believe I, I saw one of those highlights and I put out a story saying that Kiefer Ravenna is the most skilled mofo in the league alright so if you didn't catch that it's on my story and it just sparked a big debate uh, I, I got a lot of messages I got a lot of I didn't get a lot of hate naman. I got a lot of arguments lang na, but hindi si ganito but hindi si ganito bakit si Kiefer diba? so I figured I gotta address the situation. Why did I say that Kiefer Ravenna was the most skilled player or hooper that we have today? Why do I say that? Kasi marami naman kayong sinabi ng mga pangalan na pwede. Magagaling din silang lahat. Alright? So, let's talk about that right now. Shall we? Shall we? We shall. Alright, first and foremost, I, I think this is gonna be a big video. So, let's get to 350 likes. Y'all think that's possible? Y'all think that's possible? Come on. It's a big debate. Let's get to 350 likes. And then also, please comment down below whom you think is the most skilled hooper in the country today. I, I, it's a debate, guys. No right or wrong answer. I have my own beliefs. I have my own picks. I have my own pick. And you have your own pick. All right? So comment down below whom you think is the most skilled motherfucker in the country today. All right? All right? Let's talk about this. When I say... Kiefer is the most skillful. That doesn't mean he's the best player. Okay? Because, kumbaga, yung, yung ranking ng players natin consists of a lot of things. Hindi lang skills. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, the best player in the country right now is Junmar Fajardo. I think that's undebatable naman. Six-time MVP. He's the most dominant player that we have. And he may not be the most skillful, but since he's the tallest and he's like the heaviest, and he has also he also has the skills to back it up, she yung best player and most dominant. I think that's pretty obvious. But what I'm trying to say is when I said Kiefer was the most skillful, I wasn't saying he was the best. I was focused solely on skills. Okay, I'm gonna explain later on. Kung ibig sabihin ng skills. Sa akin, ano ibig sabihin ng pagiging skillful? sa basketball. I believe, if you don't believe that, it's fine. Diba? I explain ko sa inyo ano yung paniniwala ko. If you think may point ako, cool. If you think wala, wala tayo magagawa. Disclaimer, no, disclaimer number two. I'm not knocking on any basketball player, man. I'm just being real with you guys. Ang ayoko kasi yung baka isipin ninyo, hindi ko lang gusto si ganito or unbiased or biased lang ako. Diba? I'm not biased at all. Alright? I think I have only two disclaimers on this video for this video. Dalawa lang naman ata. Basta, basta guys, pag sinabi kong mas skillful si Kiefer, hindi ibig sabihin mas magaling siya. Yun lang. Throw that out the window. I'm not saying Kiefer Ravenna is the best player today. I'm saying he's the most skillful. Explanation for skillful? Okay. Alright. Skills. Skillful. Skilled. What does that mean? Okay. Number one. 
being skillful means the more skilled you are, the less attributes you're using. What are attributes? Attributes are speed, quickness, height, strength, agility. Those are attributes. Those are physical attributes. You get what I'm saying? Like a person's athleticism, all right, can be as effective as a person's skill. Pero, pag sinabi mong skillful ka, you use your attributes a little less. Okay, I'm not saying na Kiefer is not athletic. I'm not saying he's not fast. I'm not saying he's not quick. And it also doesn't mean that porket athletic ka or meron kang God-given attributes, i-invalidate na natin yung skills mo. Hindi rin. But we have to give a little bit more credit to those without these said attributes. Diba? Kasi nga, skills means just basketball skills. You use the least amount of speed, the least amount of athleticism, the least amount of explosiveness, the least amount of height, of strength. Diba? That's skill. Purely basketball. Number two. Skill. Overall skill. I'm not talking about scoring ability. I'm not talking about one-on-one -on -one ability. I'm not talking about passing ability. I'm not talking about shooting ability. I'm talking about the whole package. Overall, who is the most skillful player we have? Okay? Yun yung pinag-uusapan ko. So, madami kayong binigay sa akin na names na scorer. Oo, lalaban siya scoring-wise. But, the whole package, parang lamang pa din si Kiefer. Diba? Si Kiefer kasi... Kaya skumor, kaya pumasa, create. He has a good handle. He has like a lot of counter moves, de ba? Which brings me to number three: counter moves. Hindi one move. Pag kinat mo yon, gagamitin na niya yung lakas niya or yung bilis niya para makashoot. No counter moves meaning. Harangan mo ko, I have another move. Harangan mo ko, may isa pa ako. Harangan mo ko, eh, may isa pa ako. Ibago ko shumut. Yun yung counter move. And, walang sayang na galaw. What does walang sayang na galaw mean? Efficient yung mga galaw mo. Very fundamentally sound. I'm not gonna do anything extra. I'm just gonna do what I need. I'm just gonna do enough to score. Enough lang para makascore ako. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so, maninigate din yung madaming ginagawa. Like, it takes you 10 moves to take a shot. It takes you 10 dribble moves to get a shot off. Diba? Ma medyo may eliminate mo din yun. Kasi, ano na, hindi na efficient eh. So when I'm talking about skill, efficient ka din dapat sa mga galaw mo. Tipid na tipid ka sa mga galaw mo. Kung ano, ano lang yung kailangan. Alright? Last! Marami kang galaw. I think, I think counted na rin naman yun sa counter moves. Pero marami kang galaw. Marami kang kayang gawin. Outside, inside, perimeter, floater, jumper, turnaround, fade away. ba? May fades ka. May, may dribble moves ka. May mga layup kang iba-iba. ba? Those are skills. Kung baga pinapractice lahat yun. Hindi yun basta... Like height, hindi yun binigay ng Diyos na, oh, ikaw magiging malaki ka. Hindi, pinapractice mo yun at a young age, tas gumagaling ka ng gumagaling ng gumagaling in those, in those specific skills. Okay, vision, skill, di ba? IQ, di ba? Alam mo kung anong, anong next move mo, alam mo kung anong wag mong gagawin, ano yung dapat mong gawin, ano yung gagawin mo para makalusot ka, ano yung tirang gagamitin mo para ma-shoot mo. Yun yung skill, eh. alright? So, let's run it down. Number one, the least amount of attributes used. The least, ah, hindi sinabing totally wala kang gagamitin, ah. wala kang athleticism. Hindi, the least amount. So, speed, agility, uh, height, weight, strength, diba? vertical leap, yun, the least amount of that. You're using the least amount para makascore ka or makacreate ka ng basketball play. Okay? Number two, we're not talking about scoring. We're talking about the overall skill set. Kaya mo lahat, kaya mo gawin lahat. On the offensive end, ah, kaya mong gawin lahat. Alright? Number three, fundamentally sound. Tama ba? Number three ba yun? Basta fundamentally sound. Efficient. Hindi masyado madaming galaw. Kunti lang. Kung ano lang yung kailangan, makakashoot na ako. In maybe two, three moves, makakashoot na ako. Number four, counter moves. Exactly. Pareho lang. Diba? Meron akong counter move lagi. Meron akong, meron akong reaction lagi. If you cut me off, may gagawin ako. If you cut me off, may gagawin ako. If you stay back there, then may gagawin ako out here. Diba? Counter moves. Tapos ano yung huli? And then, okay, yun na pala, yun na pala. Alright, so, let me talk about Kiefer first. Bago yung mga dinedebate ninyo. Alright? Alright. Kiefer. Kiefer is not the most athletic. He was athletic when he was younger. We have to we have to consider that. We have to admit that. Younger days niya sa Ateneo, di ba? Dumadunk siya, dinakdakan niya si Karim Abdul, di ba? Uh, he was really athletic. He was skinny. And then he had that certain speed na medyo wala ngayon, di ba? Give me 
one dude whom kahit wala sa kondisyon, nagagawa niya yung ginagawa niya. Give me one dude na kahit wala sa kondisyon, eh, guys, let, aminin na lang natin, man. Alam naman ni Kiefer to, eh, na there are times na wala siya sa kondisyon. He may look heavy, he looks tired, he's not as quick, he's not as fast, he can't get up as high, pero nagagawa pa rin niya yung mga ginagawa niya. To start the bubble, di ba? Like, lahat naman tayo sinabi, wala siya sa kondisyon, di ba? But what he was doing against Magnolia, like what the last video I put out, he was still doing stuff na conditioned players couldn't, can't do. Di ba? I Kiefer. Di ba? How many counter moves does Kiefer have? Pick and roll. Solid. He knows what to do. Coming off the pick, whatever the, the defense gives, he has a counter to that. Di ba? How many shots does he have? The fades, spin moves, the step backs, the, the floaters, the ganon, the ganon. Yun yung mga bagay na ginagawa ni Kiefer, guys. Kiefer's not the fastest player. No doubt, man. Bagal nga. Pag yung kanina ng galaw niya, bagal lang eh. Pero sobrang suabe, Saktong-sakto pag pagcut ni ni Adrian Wong dun sa crossover niya, spumin move siya. Right away, pag lunch ni Adrian Wong to cut the spin move, biglang fumade. So si Adrian Wong was was left in no man's land. Na parang kakakat ko lang dito, biglang fumade eh. So yung timing ng galaw niya, sobrang perfect. Like, he's gonna make you lean one way and then he's gonna fade the other. Diba? How many shots does he have na sobrang hirap? Like, he's not the tallest player. No doubt, he's not the tallest player. He doesn't jump the highest. But fadeaways, diba? floaters, runners, euro step, Pinoy step, sabi nga nila, Pinoy step. Diba? Kaya niya lahat. Kaliwa, kanan, and wala ding sayang na galaw. You never saw Kiefer like, Hindi ka naman papasayawin ni Kiefer. Guys, hindi ka papasayawin ni Kiefer. Kiefer reminds me of a fucking Luka Doncic. Hindi ka papasayawin naman ni Luka eh. Like, mauhulog ka? No. Pero, he's gonna get a shot off for some odd reason. Kahit sobrang bagal niya, paano niya natira? Or how did he create that much space being that slow? I'm not saying he's not explosive, pero he's not the quickest, nor is he the most explosive. Pero bakit parang laging may, laging may nahanap na tira si Kiefer? Ba't ganun? Di ba? Uh, that's just what I think. That's just what I see. Okay? Okay, next. Pag-usapan natin yung NBA for a bit. NBA. LeBron James is the best basketball player today. Okay? LeBron James is the best basketball player today. Is he the most skilled? Nope. Kevin Durant is more skilled than LeBron. How many moves does Kevin Durant have in his bag that LeBron can only dream of? Dami, man. Sobrang dami. Pero mas magaling si LeBron overall. Diba? Pero Kevin Durant is more skilled. Now, this is my question. Kevin Durant. Actually, sige. Magpapasok na ako ng pangalan na a lot of you brought up with being the most skilled. Which, you have a point. Bobby Ray Parks, one of the most skilled guys that we have in the league. Bobby Ray Parks, man. Sobrang galing ni Bobby Ray, man. He's, he's been killing it with talk and text. Bobby Ray Parks. I'm gonna compare Bobby Ray Parks and Kiefer Ravenna to a Kevin Durant and a Kyrie Irving. Okay? Bobby Ray Parks is 6'4", 215 pounds. 6'4", 215. Wikipedia says Kiefer Ravenna is 6 feet. Uh, no, he's not 6 feet. No way. 6 feet, maybe in shoes. No way. No way is Kiefer Ravenna 6 feet. 5'11". 5'11", tas pampa 6 yung buhok niya. Okay? 5'11", 180 pounds. So, sige, sige, sige na. 6 feet. Okay? So, Bobby Ray Parks is 6'4", 215. Kiefer Ravenna is 6, 180. Tama? Athleticism, hands down, Bobby Ray Parks. Speed, hands down, Bobby Ray Parks. Vertical jump, any kind of jump, Bobby Ray Parks. Now, Kevin Durant is killed as a motherfucker. But at the end of the day, he is 6'11 with arms to go for days. So, we have to give Kyrie Irving, which I believe is the most skilled player in the in, in, in the world. Okay, watch his highlights, man. They're crazy. Kyrie Irving, you gotta give him just a little bit more credit. Because to play at 6 feet, 6'1", six, 6'2", six, and still do the things that he does is a bit harder or you gotta give him a little bit more credit versus a 6'11 Kevin Durant. Whom, at the end of the day, kahit anong galaw ang gawin ni Kevin Durant, once he rises for a jump shot, no one can block that shit. No one. Diba? So yun yung point ko. Hindi ko sinasabing hindi skillful si Bobby Ray Parks, ha? Bobby Ray Parks is a bad motherfucker. But I give more credit to the guy who has less attributes or lower attributes. Kung baga, pag gumagawa ka ng NBA 2K player, si Ray Ray Parks, mas madami kang VC points na ginamit dun sa attributes na yan. Kasi pinatangkad mo, pinalakas mo yung katawan, pinataas mo yung talon, pinabilis mo, dinagdaga. Si Kiefer, hindi ganun kadami yung VC points niya. 
dun sa attributes. Tama ba? I don't play 2K that much. Pero, yung skill set ni Kiefer. Oh, ito, question. Bobby Ray Parks and Kiefer Ravenna. Parehas wala sa condition. Tanggalin mo sa condition si Bobby Ray Parks. Tanggalin mo sa condition. Hindi masyado mataas yung talon. Hindi masyadong explosive. Hindi masyadong mabilis. Who's better? Yun yung point ko eh. I'm not saying mas magaling si Bobby Ray. I'm not saying mas magaling si Kiefer kay Bobby Ray. Ah. May, may advantage si Bobby Ray. Bobby Ray is as, as athletic as fuck. Pero yun nga. We're talking about skill. Skill alone. Skills. Pareho silang wala sa condition. Pareho silang may chan. Which by the way, nakita na natin si Kiefer minsan. May chan. Lalaro sa PBA, may chan. Tapos pero he was gonna drop fucking 18, 20, 22 points nang may chan siya. Si Bobby Ray Parks, laging condition. Tanggalin mo pareho. Both of them, tanggalan mo ang athleticism. Tell me now, sino mas skillful sa kanilang dalawa? Tell me now. Sino mas maraming counter moves? At the end of the day, when Bobby Ray Parks gets beat to the spot, he can power his way to the rim. At the end of the day, when Bobby Ray Parks gets beat by the defender, he can bump the guy out of the way and finish. Or he can outjump his defender anytime he wants. At the end of the day, he can do that. Kiefer Ravenna. Seldom do you see Kiefer get in the air, bump someone, and then stay in the air, and then like with that athletic finish. No. What does he do? Side step, Euro step, diba? Pinoy step, diba? Yung mga finish niya na matataas. Kasi he doesn't have the same athleticism or the same height or the same strength as Bobby Ray Parks. Tama? Nagigets siya ba yung sinasabi ko? Oo, skillful si Bobby Ray Parks. But because Bobby Ray Parks has so much more attributes uh, uh, under his name, so much more athletic, taller, heavier, stronger, faster, quicker, I gotta give Kiefer more credit, man. Because Kiefer is all IQ, skill, diba? He, he relies more on his skill. He's athletic, he's fast, he's quick, but when he's on the court, he relies more on his IQ and his skills. Bobby Ray Parks, at the end of the day, batak eh. Diba? Ang dami nag-send sa akin. Jason Castro. Jason Castro is the best point guard in Asia. But don't tell me he's more skillful than Kiefer, man. Jason Castro relies on his speed. Speed. He, he himself, I've heard him say this. According to Jai Reyes, ang sabi sa kanya ni Jason Castro, isang galaw lang, finish mo na. The reason why kaya ni Jason Castro na running down the court with the ball and then pupuk, tas all the way na siya to the basket. The reason why he can do that is because he's faster than any motherfucker we've seen. He's the fastest motherfucker with the ball. So, kaya sobrang dali kay Jason. Kumbaga, one crossover, I'm gone. Hindi pa nga minsan crossover, he hesitate lang siya ng ganun, no? papak, tas all the way na to the basket. So, again, he relies on his speed. He's, he's fast, he's quick. So, madali for him. Na anytime he wants, I can beat my defender naman eh. Kasi mas mabilis ako sa'yo. I get uh, one quick step past you, you're out, you're done. Ganon si Jason. But again, that's the best point guard in Asia, man. I'm talking about pure skill. Have you seen Jason Castro post up and then fade away jumper? Have you seen Jason Castro with that much move? Like, nakat mo ko dito, move ako dito. Pag nakat mo ko dito, okay, may ipit na ako, so I'm gonna fade. And then I'm gonna hit a, a tough fade away jumper. Diba? No, no, man. Jason Castro is one of my biggest idols, but don't, no, no, no. Jason Castro is the fastest guy we've seen on the court for me ever. Kasi bata pa lang naman ako eh. But no, no, no. Jason Castro is not more skilled than Kiefer Avena, man. Jason Castro is not more skilled than Kiefer Avena. CJ Perez, the baby beast. Beast nga eh. Kita mo ba kung gano'ng kalakas ng taong yun? Gano'ng kabilis? Gano'ng ka-explosive? No! No! I'm talking about skill! Skill! Skill, people! I'm not saying he's di magaling si CJ Perez, pero we're talking about skill! Skill lang! Skill! Skill! Okay? Okay. May, may nagsabi sa akin, Roger Pogoy. Roger Pogoy and Matthew Wright. Roger Pogoy and Matthew Wright are two of the best shooters that we have and two of the most efficient guys that we have. Why do I say efficient? Ilang beses ko sinabi, si Roger Pugoy, ang pinapractice lang, catch and shoot, one dribble pull up, two dribble pull up, tapos yung floater niya. Yun lang yung apat na tira niya. Apat lang ang tira ni Pugoy. Catch and shoot, one dribble shot, two dribbles shot, floater. Doon sa 35 points niya, mga 27 doon galing. Tapos mga... 4 points sa free throw and then yung iba sa mga layup layup. Pero honestly, bulk of his points come from catch and shoot, pull up jumpers, off the catch, 
and then floater. Okay? Why is he the most efficient? Eh, puta, sa apat na galaw lang. Ito may 30 eh. Diba? So, he's one of the most efficient guys that we have. Matthew Wright, same thing. Pull up jumpers. Diba? But, if you talk about overall skill, can Matthew Wright run the pick and roll the same way Kiefer does? Can Roger Pogoy run the pick and roll the same way Kiefer does? So, they're more efficient scorers, maybe. But, most skilled? I still gotta go with Kiefer, man. <laughs> May nagsabi pa sa akin, L.A. Tenorio. L.A. Tenorio is a legend, man. Pero wag naman tayo maglokohan. Gio Halalon daw. Gio Halalon is one of the best defenders that we have today. But Gio Halalon, take away Gio Halalon's speed and take away Gio Halalon's long-ass arms, di ba? And his energy and his, his, his sipag. Take away all those things, di ba? The same way with Chris Ross. Chris Ross is one of... Guys, you have to understand. Chris Ross is one of the tallest point guards that we have. I think he is the tallest point guard that we have. Tall. Ang laki. He's not, he's not more skilled than Kiefer, man. Stop it. Stop it, man. Shaq voice. Stop. Stop it, man. Stop it. Robert Bolick. May nagsabi sa akin. Robert Bolick. Okay. One of the smartest players we have. Kasi... Paglabas niya ng screen, sobrang simple maglaro ni Bolik. Paglabas niya ng screen, hindi ka lumapit, pupulap siya. Lumapit ka, dadrivan ka niya. Diba? Alam niya kung saan siya kick out, tapos may athleticism na sobrang galing ni Robert Bolik for finish around the rim, man. Tatalon siya, tapos kaya niya mag-jackknife, kaya, kaya niya mag dipsy do, diba? May mga ganun siya. So, no, no, not, not Robert Bolik. Robert Bolik is a bad motherfucker, but now, no, no, no. Most skilled, no. Robert Bolik is, is tall. Robert Bolik is fast. Robert Bolik is... Hindi, siya yung bigote niya eh. So, dahil dun sa bigote niya, may plus siya eh. May mga plus 5 siya sa attributes dahil dun sa bigote niya. So, tanggalin muna natin si Robert Bolik. Tsaka nagpapahinga pa si Robert Bolik kayo. Puro dota yung naatupag. Huwag muna si Robert Bolik, okay? Uh, una, hindi. Unang-una yung mga legends natin. They said Mark Kagiwa, James Yap. Lalaban sila sa skill set ni Kiefer offensively, scoring-wise. But like I said, I'm talking about the whole package. James Yap wouldn't call a pick and roll. Mark Kagiwa wouldn't call a pick and roll and be able to, you know, read the way Kiefer does and get through traffic the way Kiefer does. Pero score sa score, lalaban. Ito guys, ah, score sa score, Terence Romeo, Paul Lee, James Yap, Mark Kagiwa. Scoring lang, one-on-one, -on -one, lalaban sila kay Kiefer. Laban yun. Paul Lee, Terence Romeo. But like, I'm talking about the whole thing eh. Talking about the whole thing. I'm still, I'm still with Kiefer on this one. I'm still with Kiefer on this one. Oh, okay, so, so two guys that were sent or were brought up to me, na medyo napaisip ako, tama sila. Alex Kabagnot and Kevin Alas. Kevin Alas right now is playing the way we've, we remember him play. Sobrang galing niya ngayon, man. Again, not much, not much athleticism, not much speed, not much quickness, not much strength, but the way he maneuvers through traffic to get into the lane, to get into the paint and lay up, yung mga counter moves niya, yung shooting niya nandun. Kevin Alas is just, this is the Kevin Alas I've grown to to compete against. Ito yung nakakalaban kong Kevin Alas. Ito yung napapanood kong Kevin Alas. So I'm just really happy that he's back. But I think, I think, malamang pa din si Kiefer ng slight. Malamang pa din naman si Kiefer. Kasi mas fundamentally sound si Kiefer. Mas, I wanna say, mas kaya niya yung mga tough shots. Magaling mag-create ng shots si Kiefer. But, you know, Kevin Alas is not a far second. Di ba? But, Kiefer pa din. Kiefer pa din. But, you Alex Kabagnot though. Okay. Dito ako medyo, oh my shit. May point kayo dun sa Alex Kabagnot. Because Alex basically can do everything Kiefer does. I think Kiefer just has more usage. You get what I'm saying? Na mas kailangan lang siya ng NLEX na tumraba ako the whole game compared to Alex na medyo umiikot naman kasi ang dami nila magagaling na. So if Alex was put in a Kiefer Ravenna situation na you have the ball 90% of the time and you gotta create for something to happen for the team, baka nga malabas ni Alex yung ganong laro. So Alex Kabagnot, man. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. Alex Kabagnot is a bad man and skilled. Not much, not much height, not much speed. Um, not much athleticism, but his fades, his pull-ups, his floaters, his counter moves. Diba? You, know, you rarely see him get into the paint, tas babanggain niya lahat. Diba? Oh, by the way, binanggap niyo rin si Roy Sumang. Roy Sumang is, oh my God, is one of the strongest, most athletic point guards that we have. No, Roy, Roy will rely on his strength and his athleticism and his speed way more than his skills. But yun niya, si Alex... Yeah, I think you got a point there, guys. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Alex Kavognot is 
Alex, Alex Kabagnol is a bad man, bro. He's a bad man. I guess bibigyan ko lang si Kiefer ng slight nod kasi mas bata si Kief. So, if you, if you, can you imagine what Kief will be when he gets to Alex age with all the experience and the knowledge and the guidance na makukuha niya sa mga peers niya? Kiefer is just gonna be, kumbaga, ano na lang yun, um, mas bata kasi. So, mas hindi pa natin nakikita yung full potential. While si Alex, I'm not gonna say he's going, kumbaga, ano na end na ng karir niya. I'm not gonna say that because he's still, diba? and he's healthy as, as as anyone can be. So, diba? But, pero nakita na natin yung peak Alex. Okay, nakita na natin yung peak Alex. Si Kiefer, hindi pa natin nakikita yung peak Kiefer. Kasi ilang taon pa lang naman si Kiefer, diba? So, I'm just gonna give Kiefer that slight nod because of his age. But Alex, man, Good pick kayo doon, guys. Good pick kayo doon. Jet Manuel brought it up. Aaron Black brought it up. And a, a couple more guys brought up Kabagi. Kabagi. Crunch, man. Gotta give him that. Good pick, guys. Good pick. One more. Si Stanley Pringle pala. Binring up nyo rin sa akin. Stanley Pringle is a... Sobrang is a hooper, man. He, he's... Whoo! Stanley Pringle, bro. Stanley Pringle is crazy right now. But! Stanley Pringle is... Come on, man. Like... Speed, strength. Stanley Pringle is, you know, come on. Sobrang bilis ni Stanley Pringle. Sobrang explosive ni Stanley Pringle. Kaya ni Stanley Pringle makipagsabayan, babanggay niya yung mga big man, and then he's gonna finish. So yeah, Stanley Pringle, skillful, but who uses more more of his attributes? Stanley Pringle or Kiefer Avena? No doubt, Stanley Pringle. No doubt, man. No doubt. Bakas ni Stanley Pringle, guys. Tanggalin mo. Tanggalin mo sa condition si Stanley Pringle. I don't think he's gonna be that good. As good as he is now, diba? So still, Kiefer. I'm not saying Kiefer is the best basketball player. I'm, I'm gonna like, I like this series though. Kasi pwede natin pag-usapan who's the most dominant. Why is Junmar Fardo the most dominant? Why is, I'm not sure yet if it's Matthew Wright, Marshall Laster, or Arpogoy, the best shooter in the game or in the league. Pwede natin pag-usapan yun in the future. Pwede natin pag-usapan who's the best defender in the league, who's the best big man in the league, who's the best, diba? Who's the best role player in the league? Who's the best all-around player in the league? Who's the best two-way player in the league? And dami pa yung pag But this this one most skilled. I just I just really gotta give it to Kiefer, man. Like he has the foot. His his bag is just way too deep. Way too deep. Scoring, passing, creating, the ba? Like counter moves. It's just way too deep. And close to no athleticism. Di ko siya wala siya sa condition na parang. Tambay siya. I'm just saying, like his moves are just they're not they're not they're not that fast. Pero bakit parang bigla niya na iiwan na lang. Tapos sobrang sakto pa yung mga fade niya, yung mga pull up niya, yung mga. I'm just I'm just yo he's my pick. He's my pick for most skillful. No, there are no wrong answers, but that is just my belief of what skillful means. If y'all don't agree, let me know. If y'all agree, let me know. This is just to spark debate. You already know, man. On this channel, pag usapan lang, pagkakwento lang natin. Just you know, no bullshit, no cap. The only bullshit people here are those who replied, Mikey Reyes. And dami niyo. Pwede na ako magsimula ng revolution dahil sa inyo. And dami niyo niluloko. Mikey Reyes daw, Mikey Reyes daw. Oh na. Si Mikey Reyes ang most madaldal player that we have. Okay na yun. Most papogi. Pwede na. Dagdag yun na rin yun. Most pa-cute. <laughs> most pa-star. Lagyan nyo na rin. Sige na, lagyan nyo na yun. Pero huwag na tayo maglokuan. Stop bullshitting, man. Langya kayo mga Banyo boys tsaka mga Hugas Pinggan boys. Eh. Langya kayo. Oh, at tsaka yung mga nagpatato ng 100. Here. Yung mga nagpatato nito. Okay. One guy sent me a tattoo this morning or this afternoon. And then two guys were like, Oy, kukuha din ako. Guys, hindi nyo nakuha sa akin yan. So, huwag nyo kong sisisihin pag nagsisi kayo, ha? Pag nagsisi kayo, sa mga ganyang kalokohan nyo sa buhay, huwag nyo kong babalikan. Okay? Huwag nyo kong babalikan. Alright? Alright, so there you have it, guys. Um, That was fun. Hopefully, you all get my point. Uh, You don't have to agree with me. Ang nasabi ko at least why I feel Kiefer is the most skilled player that we have. But, you know, Dami magaling dyan, man. Sobrang dami magaling dyan. Ang gagaling nila lahat, to be honest. Hindi ka makaabot ng PBA hindi ka magiging superstar sa PBA kung hindi ka magaling, di ba? Di ba? But hey! I appreciate you guys for spending time with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Hey guys, 350 likes. Come on, this is a good conversation. I know this is a good conversation. It's gonna be something that we can debate about for days to come and weeks to come. So hit that like button. Let's get to 350. Let's get to 350. Let's get to 350. Let's get to 350, all right? Take care of each other. Take care of yourself, Palamuna. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other.
Peace, love, Mike Reyes, and I'll see y'all very, very soon.